as we start to approach the new year, we here at Tab Forum are starting to look at the trends in technology that are going to take over the capital market space in 2014. Today I'm joined by Patrick Miles from Kaplan uh, Systems, and I want to talk about sort of how mobility is taking hold within the institutional capital markets and how players in the marketplace are actually using it for trading. Thank you for joining me today, Patrick. Thanks. So where, where do we see mobility in the capital markets? People have talked about it now for a couple of years, but are we, people actually starting to use it in the institutional capital markets? Yeah, it's interesting. We've, we've been monitoring that space very closely. Our technology is very suited to mobile, and we've done a few smaller projects in mobile. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a lot of the banks take a bit of a wait and see approach. You know, they're building out some maybe non-core mobile applications, things like, uh, you know, order book, uh, position management, looking at, you know, uh, financial information, financial news. Mm -hmm. and we're starting to see a real trend now, though, towards execution and trading on mobile, which a lot of uh, there's been a lot of uh, wait and see going on there. But we're seeing that uh, particularly the big players are starting to get into that, uh, you know, in anger. City recently released their Velocity, mm -hmm. uh, iPad, and now iPhone trading app. And that's actually allowing execution of institutional FX on mobile devices. I was going to say, is it mainly just in one area, asset class? Is it FX or is it also in equities, fixed income? Are we seeing commodities? Is it a broad spectrum? approach or just sort of bespoke individual institutions? Well, I think the trailblazers on mobile have been on the retail side. So on the retail, you'll see, we've seen FX, uh, equities, uh, commodities, mm -hmm. you know, driven driven, driven by the customer need and you know, the customer desire, the end users on the street wanting to use mobile. On institutional, we're seeing it's more, uh, more asset class specific, and it depends on the applications that the banks are trying to deliver to their clients. But uh, we're definitely seeing a trend in FX. Uh, we've got uh, two or three of our clients with live, active trading apps on mobile and a lot more. We think 2014 is going to be big for mobile. It's interesting because all the conversations that we've had, a lot of folks have raised sort of the white flag or the, the red flag around this issue of compliance. Yep. We really are interested in mobility. We really want to do this, but compliance, compliance, compliance. It seems like maybe they're starting to make some inroads against that argument. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure on the precise details. I know there's some regional variations mm -hmm. and there's issues on bank compliance, but I know that, you know, it's always going to be something that's holding it back. And I think that's been the thing that the client, uh, the, the banks have been reticent to be the first ones to jump, mm -hmm. but I think now that now that some of the bigger players are doing it, you know, the compliance will be a, will be holding it back. But I think everyone's going to be moving that way. And if people are moving it, what is the underlying technology using? I would imagine it's HTML5 is probably a major player in this. Yeah, again, I think that's the other reason why there's been a bit of a, a bit of a kind of wait and see approach. Mm -hmm. You know, as I said, um, with mobile, you've obviously got native or HTML5 are the two main opportunities, two main technology choices you've got. Um, there's also the kind of hybrid approach. Um, we're seeing, you know, we're very strongly HTML5 focused for our desktop right. uh, products with Kaplan Trader and with our uh, HTML5 tools. Um, We've built quite a few HTML5 mobile apps, including some trading ones now. Um, but we're, we're supporting both, and we're seeing some of our clients delivering native apps now and thinking about HTML5 uh, today, tomorrow, into 2014. But I think 2014 HTML5 is going to be big in, it, in mobile. Big. Yeah. You had said that you see some of the larger players. You saw, you said mm -hmm. City mm -hmm. with their uh, Velocity That's right. yep. uh, platform has moved to mobility. Is this going to be a trend where the larger players, the tier ones in the bulge brackets, sort of lead the space? Or are we going to see? More regionals and midsize take a, take 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 the lead because of sort of the pressure on them to to, to find sure. their own market space. Yeah, I think you know there's a lot of pressure from the big players, uh, particularly in FX, if we're staying there, uh, driving that branded channel out there. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a big demand on the desktop side initially for some of the regional banks uh, to try and deliver their brand more strongly to their clients. And mobile's going to form a big, an important part of that. So mm -hmm. uh, I think you know the last three or four years we worked with a lot of the regional players who are seeing you know it. If they don't provide that kind of branded channel, they're getting their business, e you know, inroads. But the big players coming into their regions, right, so they're, nip they're they're nipping at the heels. Absolutely, yeah, hundred percent. And you know, I think mobile is the next step there. So I think you know we're already talking to some of the smaller banks and some of the, the large regionals too, who who actually want to be leading the way rather than waiting to you know waiting to catch up with with the big players too. With your mobile impl implementation efforts that you've done so far, are they mainly in the iOS space, or are they also moving now towards, I guess, the, the Windows space for the, their, 
they're sort of Windows 8, or are we looking at other sort of the Android space for mobility? Yeah, uh, the, the early apps were predominantly iPad, mm -hmm. um, but we're seeing increasing demand for Android. Uh, so we provide technology that enables you to write native Android, native iOS, mm -hmm. and obviously HTML5 means it can be cross-device. Exactly. So the, the, the apps we're building now on HTML5 uh, using Kaplan Trader and, and the tools we've already established in the kind of desktop space, mm -hmm. um, they are targeted mainly Android and iOS. We're not really seeing much demand on the Windows front. Right, but yeah. that said, the browsers on Windows, they can run HTML5 too. Right, so exactly. once that once they catch up, and it, if they catch up, you know. Uh, <laughs> Let's uh, not get on that topic. Yeah. That's, that's an entirely different uh, video. I think I think one of the one of the drivers on HTML5 is that you know the right once run anywhere. Obviously exactly. it's not it's not quite right once run anywhere, but it's a lot more than having to target all the different devices with Android and Yeah, iOS. I mean the, the actual user interface I think is one of those things where you can write once run anywhere. Mm -hmm. It's the back end and the and, and, and the actual system management stuff that matters with the different uh, no, absolutely. Uh, with, the, with the different environments. Patrick, I want to thank you very much for joining us here on Tab Forum, and I think we're going to hear a lot more as we move forward about sort of mobility implementation and sort of mid-sized players blazing the trail. Great, thanks. Pleasure to be here.